Miller indices. In this section, we will study about the crystal planes, procedure for finding Miller indices, and important features of Miller indices. The crystal lattice may be regarded as made up of an infinite set of parallel equidistant planes passing through the lattice points, which are known as lattice planes. In simple terms, the planes passing through lattice points are called lattice planes. In the given figure, the planes are passing through different points of a crystal, that is different lattice points which are parallel to each other. First three diagrams indicate different set of lattice planes in primitive cubic lattice. In second three set of planes, Planes are passing through different lattice points in face centered cubic lattice. And in third set of figure, planes are passing through different lattice points of body centered cubic lattice. For a given lattice, the lattice planes can be chosen in a different number of ways. The planes can be chosen as vertical, they can be horizontal, or diagonal. The orientation of planes in a crystal can be described in terms of their intercepts on three axes. Miller introduced a system to designate a plane in a crystal. He introduced a set of three numbers to specify a plane in a crystal. This set of three numbers is known as Miller indices of the concerned plane. Miller indices is defined as the reciprocals of the intercepts made by the plane on the three axes. Procedure for finding Miller indices Step 1. Determine the intercepts of the plane along the axis x, y and z in terms of the lattice constants a, b and c. Step 2. Determine the reciprocals of these numbers. Step 3. Find the least common denominator LCM and multiply each by this LCM. Step 4. The result is written in parenthesis. This is called the Miller indices of the plane in the form of HKL written in parenthesis. This is called Miller indices of the plane in the form of HKL. Important features of Miller indices. For the cubic crystal especially, the important features of Miller indices are number 1. A plane which is parallel to any one of the coordinate axes has an intercept of infinity. Therefore, the Miller indices of that axis is 0. That is, for an intercept at infinity, the corresponding index is 0. Second, all equally spaced parallel planes have same Miller indices. That is, Miller indices do not only define a particular plane but also a set of parallel planes. Thus, the planes whose intercepts are 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2 and minus 3, minus 3, minus 3, etc. are all represented by the same set of Miller indices 1, 1, 1. Third, the 6, 2, 2 planes are the same as 3111 plane. Let us find the Miller indices of given plane. In the above plane, the intercepts along x axis is 1 unit. The plane is parallel to y and z axis, so the intercepts along y and z axis are infinity. Now the intercepts are 1, infinity, and infinity. The reciprocals of the intercepts are 1 by 1, 1 by infinity, and 1 by infinity. Therefore, the Miller indices of the above plane is 1, 0, 0. If a plane cuts an axis on the negative side of the origin, corresponding index is negative. It is represented by a bar, like 1 bar. That is, Miller indices 1 bar 0, 0 indicates the plane has intercepts in the negative x-axis. For example, 
प्लॉट द प्लेन वन बार वन जीरो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फाइंड द रेसिप्रोकल्स ऑफ दिस मिलर इंडाइसिस सो रेसिप्रोकल्स आर वन माइनस वन एंड इंफिनिटी द इंटरसेप्ट आर एक्स इक्वल टू वन वाई इक्वल्स टू माइनस वन एंड जेड इक्वल्स टू इंफिनिटी टू शो दिस प्लेन अ सिंगल यूनिट सेल इन अ सिंगल यूनिट सेल द ओरिजिन इज मूड अलॉन्ग द पॉजिटिव डायरेक्शन ऑफ वाई एक्सिस बाय वन यूनिट लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल ड्रॉ अ प्लेन हैविंग मिलर इंडाइस वन टू टू इन अ क्यूबिक यूनिट सेल first draw cubic unit cell draw x y and z axis the given miller indices are 1 2 2 so first find the reciprocals of this miller indices reciprocal of 1 2 2 are 1 1 2 and 1 by 2 so take one unit along x axis and half unit along y axis and half unit along z axis now join all the three points the given plane passes through these three points 